<laughs> Surfing. Yeah. The lumberjack surfer is back. <laughs> yeah. The lumberjack meal prepper. <laughs> surfer. Surfer. Plaid person. Losing weight, it's not just a physical thing. It's here and it's here. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up. We get a lot of questions, the friends, about work. How do you prep for work? Do you work and how do you prep? And for how work? do you stay on track at work? Yeah. Yes. I work, yes, I prep for work, and I'm gonna show you how I do it. First, we prep everything. I'm gonna walk you through prepping my breakfast because setting yourself up for success starts with breakfast before you even get to work. So I'm gonna show you the breakfast, and I'm gonna show you how I pack my lunch and what I put in my lunch. Kyle and I have learned that you need quick and tasty meals pre-prepped in order to stay successful. This is our seventh year. We have lost 130 pounds each. We have kept that weight off for about four years. It took us a couple to lose it, and now we've kept it off, and this is why, because we prep for work. Big lunch pail. I like to prep pretty much what you see here, about two to three days worth of it in advance but every night I pack my lunch pail. The meals might already be in the fridge, but I pack my lunch pail. So today I'm prepping, I'm gonna just prep one thing in advance just to show you exactly what I do. I like to have a big lunch pail so that I can put uh, a lot of containers inside. This one I got from Winners and it was about $16. And it's very big. So the first thing I like to do is put some forks in there. I like to have a backup fork just in case I forget one. Start with forks. So water. Four bottles of water is in this jug. I drink a lot of water and it's important to be hydrated because if you're not hydrated, your body can give you cues that are hunger cues, but it's actually telling you it's thirsty, not hungry. So lots of water helps you stay on track. This goes in the fridge and I take it to work with me every single day. So, got my water, got my lunch. I have prepped the yogurt that I eat every morning before I go to work and I'll show you exactly what's in it. I have half a cup of fat-free plain Greek yogurt with half a teaspoon of stevia, half a teaspoon of pure vanilla, and five chopped mixed nuts. They're, unroast, they're roasted and unsalted. So this goes right in the fridge and it's ready for me to eat so that I don't have to make breakfast. I can do my cardio, get ready, and go. And I have no excuse not to eat breakfast because it's made already. There is another part to my breakfast and I'll show you that after. Part of it is right here, which is half a cup of berries. Sometimes I do frozen. I'm really into fresh berries right now, especially because it's the season. So this is chopped strawberries and some blueberries. So that's ready to go in the fridge with my yogurt. And I'll show you, I pull from this container. So once a week I clean and chop up the fruit and I keep it in this container and I pull out half a cup every night before we're um, bed. <laughs> Lunch. Don't usually eat carbs at lunchtime. So I have here three ounces of protein. This is lean ground turkey and about a cup and a half of broccoli and Brussels sprouts that have been roasted. So I've also put salt and pepper and I'm going to put that baby right in there for the lunch. These are the containers that I've been pulling from. So once we cook our beef and our veggies or our meat and veggies at the end of the week it goes in containers and then we just pull from it and weigh it out the night before we go to eat it snack time so i take my main meal which is what i showed you the beef and the veggies sure. sorry the turkey and the veggies and i also take a snack so i've actually made two of these because I split up the 
guacamole that I use. So one of these is for Kyle and one of these is for me. So we have about a handful of baby carrots and a handful of snap peas and a heaping tablespoon of the holy guacamole and this is the spicy one. And I love that they come in these little mini containers because it feeds Kyle and I one of these for one snack. So I just use a tablespoon and I measure out a heaping and I put it in each container and look at that. Good to go. Snack is ready with the dip. Put it in your pail lunch. Zip it up. Lunch is done. So all you do is you grab this and you get out to your work. Then you go cut down trees. Like that. <laughs> so the last thing I want to show you is my protein pancake that I make to go with my yogurt, my yogurt and my fruit. You like to make it tasty, yep. you like to make it quick, uh -huh. that's us. So we got steel cut oats, half a cup. They're quick oats, quick they are steel cut oats. Steel cut, yeah, quick steel cut oats. So I put half a cup in there, I put cinnamon, ground cinnamon to taste, I just bang the container until I like what I see in the jar. And then I use baking powder and I literally just stick my hand in here and pull out some. Ew. <laughs> and I thought you used a spoon. I didn't know that. I'm not using first, that container. Anymore. I lick my hand. <laughs> <laughs> this is unsweetened applesauce. It's just, let's just tell the friends why it's in this container. Because Kyle dropped the bottle on the floor and broke the lid. So we had to put it in this. And let me show you how Nicole measures your applesauce out. <laughs> <laughs> but not really on the applesauce. The applesauce is okay to use a spoon. The other stuff, she licks her fingers and sticks it in. Well, from now on, I'm, stick I'm licking my fingers before and then putting it right in. So a tablespoon of applesauce? A tablespoon of unsweetened applesauce. And I have coconut extract here. Sometimes I use vanilla. It just depends on my mood. Today I'm in a coconutty mood. And I don't measure. I just drop in what I think. About a couple About fingers full. <laughs> About a half a teaspoon. Coconut extract is pretty strong. So you need less of it than you would vanilla. So about half a teaspoon there. And then I'm using liquid egg whites and I'm using quarter cup, which is... Would solid egg whites work? <laughs> That'd be pretty <laughs> hard to pull out. Um, it's about two egg whites, a quarter cup. Yeah, a quarter cup of egg whites. And then I'm going to use a large egg. Bang that in there. Bing, bing, bing. And then mix her all up. And right now I have the pan preheating on medium high heat and it's sprayed with cooking spray. So what I'm gonna do is drop this into the pan once it's heated and let it get golden and then flip it. And then I just put it on a plate or in a container, depending on how many I'm making in advance. I'm just making one today and I like to do a little treat. Na -na! We always get asked um, how you heat it up in the morning too. Oh, so what I do, if I make a lot of them in advance, I will freeze some of them and then thaw them out in the fridge the night before. Or I make just a couple, I'll put them in the fridge and I heat them in the microwave. About 45 seconds to a minute, depending on your microwave. Now we haven't really tried it much, but you, I guess if you had a toaster oven, you could do that as well. You but probably it's could. It's just faster for the microwave. I prefer the microwave. And what I do is I take the pancake, I top it with the berries that I showed you and with a, a tablespoon of sugar-free syrup as well. So what I like to do is I'm gonna count out a treat here of 10 stevia sweetened chocolate chips. One, two, three, four, five, six, we'll seven, eight, nine, mind. 10, and a bonus round of 11. These are Krizda brand and they're stevia sweetened. So I like to do that. That's also how you stay on track is you give yourself a few little treats here and there. So I'm going to bring this over to my pan. Okay, and I'm just going to drop the whole thing in. I like to use 
like a whatever you call this, a small medium style pan. And I'm just going to let that sit in there and I'm going to drop my chocolate chips right in. And depending on your stove top, one to two minutes until it gets golden and then flip it. All see right. how good of a flipper you are. Let's see. Am I a bonus round flipper? Yes, I am. Whoa. I'm a pro from way back. <laughs> it smells like a dream. I want to smush it in my face. Eat it. <laughs> okay, so this is what it looks like when it's all done. And I wanted to show you guys the cooking spray that I use. This is a great value butter flavored cooking spray. And in the morning, like I said, I top it with those berries that you've seen in the container and a tablespoon of this no sugar added Mrs. Butterworth. Now, if you make a ton in advance, like I do sometimes, I put it in a Ziploc bag and I stack them with parchment paper in between so that I can just pull one out at a time. You can also microwave them from frozen. You don't have to thaw them overnight depending on how much time you have in the morning. Or if I'm just making one, I put it on a plate and I cover it with the plastic wrap when it's cool. And then I just throw it in the fridge Take the plastic off in the morning, whip it in the microwave, and chomp it up. <laughs> and smush it in your face. And do it like that. <laughs> so, the friends, the party's done. That's literally it. That is how I prep for work and stay on track for success. And the rest of our meals are already done. Like you've seen the meat and the veggies in the containers, that's where we pull from for our dinner as well. So, hope you enjoyed this. Let us know if you enjoyed it, then you like to see more of these. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram, at the collects, because I'm always showing stuff like this on there, and meals, and you know, stuff, and this, <laughs> and look at that. And it's at the collects, get on there, okay? All right. And don't forget to like and subscribe a lot. Or what? <laughs> to Mrs. Butterworth, Lumberjack of Doom. We are the Lumberjack Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye, guys. <laughs>